Hi, last time I was talking about the upward exits <laughs> and I didn't remember why I had disabled them and now I remember the, <laughs> the problem is this one for example, the player, unless I put some ladder here I will not be able to exit the, the levels so I will think about that um, because it, it's, there are some interesting situations that could arise from having uh, exits on the top of the levels but uh, yeah, I, I let's see this one mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it, it's curious <clears throat> uh, that uh, I, I didn't remember the situation, <laughs> but uh, okay. Now, <clears throat> what I uh, wanted to do today is trying the obviously make the corridors because this, uh, these ugly lines are a bit uh, uh, obviously for debugging purposes, but they not uh, they do do not uh, join <laughs> the the levels. Ah. Uh, Another thing I enabled were the uh, downward solutions, but uh, they are a bit uh, too much. Wow, these two levels are really next to each other. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will disable the, um, the down exits and perhaps the up, uh, the top ones. Here in the generator, I have several arrays. I can remove these uh, directions from the exit directions and let's um, regenerate some levels. Um, this is, it's always uh, funny to remove thousands of thousands of levels <laughs> only to, to make a change in the design. Okay, let's, <clears throat> let's clean and see what we have now. Without the uh, downward, uh, the, the bottom and top exits, yeah, I think it's it's clearer um, and more homogeneous uh, for the player to to have only only left and right uh, exits, but <clears throat> it limits a bit the number of exits uh, of, of forking in the in the game three. So I don't know. I will let's let me <clears throat> uh, change density of top and bottom exits if I uh, um, so I the idea is that I want uh, more forking, more uh, decisions for the player to make about uh, where to go next from a level. So I want more exits. Uh, at average, because uh, here, for example, this is the number uh, a histogram with the number of solutions per level, and a more numerous class is the only one solution, <laughs> which is not optimal. Let's see <clears throat> what other thing I wanted to ah. Let's let's try to make the corridors. Uh, let's see. Let's first. Let's remove the line. Now, the the problem is that we need to first, before making the level, we must uh, do the, the corridor connection. So we will compute the begin and end, and we will calculate the path between these ones and end. And this function, yeah, it uh, uh, returns an array of vector 3i. Let's see. Ah, yeah, this, this obviously, <clears throat> if, if it's not empty, we uh, make the path. Let's see. Yeah, this uh, returns nothing and takes the level. Ah, the level we are connecting. Okay, make path and level 1. Let's see. Else return. Because obviously the path was not successful. I wonder if, uh, let's see, in the make path, 
yeah, this updates the solid points. So in theory, let's run this. What's uh, hmm? Ah, we have <laughs> we have an infinite loop here, I think, because it's hmm, it's taking too much time. Ah, I wonder if let's see. Uh, perhaps I'm I'm not uh, computing correctly the begin and end levels. First of all, let's uh, let's make only five levels, only to see if this is a uh, yeah. Okay, this seems to work, but um, why uh, this is this is the global position of the pedestal because this one. Hmm. Ah, uh, let me check. Ah, I know. <clears throat> yeah, this. Uh, let's reuse this function from before. Connect to levels instead of doing this. So uh, if not connect to levels, and uh, let's because this one is trying to use the global position of the level two without being set, because <clears throat> only the make level function sets it. Oh no, the load data should. Okay, let's um, let's see again. Hmm. If not uh, connect to levels, uh, let's try again. We are connecting all levels to uh, the first one. Ah no, we are <laughs> we are recomputing the pedestal here. We we don't need that. Okay. Let's um, yeah. Let's not use this because it's it's an old logic. So let's think. Pedestal is already selected. Uh -huh. This is fake level. No, this is um, ah. This is <laughs> this is a problem. We are instantiating the first time the the fake level. We are instantiating with this value in uh, for the global position. And we never update it after computing it. <laughs> so let's um, update this. And this should work now correctly. Perfect. OK, let's see. Let's check if all the connections are um, correct. This should be easy. OK, we are. Obviously, we have some overlap here. Ah, I know. The wall is adding, the, the corridor is adding some walls because it's um, making the corridor. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we should, uh, before making the path, instantiate the level. I think this should work. Ah, uh, yeah, it's because, yeah, we are calculating the path without uh, taking into account the, the walls uh, of the new level. Yeah, we should uh, temporarily <clears throat> set the solid points to the fake wall, uh, the fake walls, the, the fake level walls. And if we cannot, um, if we cannot find a path, we should clear. No, clear no. Erase those. Uh, yeah. So this. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Now the wall is the same as before, but <clears throat> uh, not the wall, the the corridor, but correctly placed. And. Let's hope that uh, there are no infinite falls. <laughs> OK. Now let's uh, try some more. For example, this one. Uh, this is hmm. this is interesting. <laughs> I changed this font, but uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's 
test the solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems to work uh, to work well. Okay, let's do uh, a bit more levels. Mm -hmm. Number of levels. Let's do a hundred levels. I'm a bit uh, uh, closer together. Let's see. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see if uh, there are some weird situations. There should not be. Hmm, interesting. It seems to work. Here, for example, it's uh, an interesting situation. Let's see if, uh, for example, this obviously will, um, if I go left here, we fall. <laughs> infinitely but uh, yeah but that that's that situation is um, okay yeah this hmm. well this is part of the old problem we had with the <clears throat> the blocked exits but uh, yeah yeah we should uh, ensure that the new levels are placed in, uh, in positions where uh, some exits are, or, or not uh, all exit as, exits are blocked, or make the corridors in a way that, that don't block um, uh, levels exits. Yeah, but uh, hmm, seems to seems to work. Let's uh, do another thing. I wanted to do is to randomize a bit the angles before trying the connections. Um, here, uh, when we calculate the angle, it's uh, it's a bit <laughs> uh, fixed um, the direction. So we could add to the angle a bit uh, of randomness. Let's uh, let's try, uh, for example, hmm, angle uh, from two uh, minus twenty degrees. 20 degrees, what happened? Ah, angle. Okay, if angle, ah, this is um, just in case we will uh, do this, the old trick to ensure <laughs> that the angle is between 0 and 360. And let's try it now. This should allow for uh, more variety on the directions hmm. you know what let's uh, let's go a bit more and this uh, 30 degrees of uh, randomness okay this hmm. <laughs> there are so many vertical corridors yeah that's hmm. It's a bit weird. Uh, okay, I think it works generally. Uh, this is very interesting. These two levels are on top of each other. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, and these corridors are on top of each other, which is nice. Let's test one thing I'm suspecting, which uh, will cause some problems. Oh, no. No, oh, yeah. These, these are, are genuine, genuine walls. And this is also... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this works. Okay. Let's uh, go to the OR. <laughs> the OR solutions, I, I'm tempted to remove them, but um, I don't know, because they add, obviously, <clears throat> uh, more complexity to the generator. But they are nice. I, I'm, I'm not uh, doing anything with the OR 
uh, currently, but uh, yeah, I think this is much more, uh, much better looking than before in, in terms of uh, of the topology and, and general structure. I think I will uh, end here today, but uh, yeah, it, it's a nice progress. The distance, I, I will try um, more the distance, the length of the corridors. What happened here? Length. This is done. Okay, I think uh, it's it's nice progress. The um, I I fear that uh, the corridors were a bit of a difficult problem with this uh, new dynamic algorithm, but uh, it turned turned out uh, to be to be fine. So yeah. Okay. Um, for now, thanks for watching. As always, uh, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to to recommend the channel to people that uh, could enjoy these kind of things and uh, consider supporting me using some of the links below. I'm thinking about making a small demo uh, for the game uh, so people can uh, try it and perhaps I can reach more, more people with, with that. Let me know what you think about that. Bye!